I think one of the difficult things for staff is to look at what they're doing and to really be critical of their practice. CEP and the 11 principles forces people to do that. And so if you have a culture that's open to that, a staff culture, which I think is incredibly important, and sometimes people miss that step, if you have a staff that's ready to take that journey, um, the 11 principles will be a very, um, at times, harsh guide for you. It's a realistic guide, so you have to be ready for the reality that it presents. And when we first started doing this um, with the 11 principles, it would have been five or six years ago where we took our first survey and realized how long we had to go how uh, early in the process we really were. We thought it was great. It had a lot of bells and whistles. We had lots of nice assemblies, but we were nowhere near um, being to that level. And so looking at that, we realized we wanted to go there. And, and it was a collective realization. And it was one of those, um, to use a, a, a catchphrase, that it was the aha moment for the staff, um, looking at those 11 principles for the first time and the reality that it really provided for us.